Last year, I um, had that life-changing experience attending uh, the honor flight with my 92-year-old neighbor. I have known Ray for the last 15 years. He, Ray is a, quite an interesting man. He likes to bring out his photo albums and show you different pictures in black and white of his days over there on the different islands in the Pacific. We started out very early in the morning. I remember Ray, when I picked him up, he was, I mean, I, when I went to get him, he was already out standing on the porch ready to go. And I said, well, you're already up. He goes, oh, I didn't sleep a wink last night. There was nobody on this plane but World War II veterans. When the plane's coming in for the landing, they were doing a water gun salute. And once we hit the terminal, it was just like, it was just alive with activity. There were people lined up, clapping, shaking their hands. He could not believe, he goes, is this all for me? And I said, yes, it is. And we had strangers come up and say, sir, can I shake your hand? And then he'd say, did I know them? I said, no, but they're proud of you. <laughs> the whole purpose of this is so these veterans could see the World War II monument that was built in their honor. I don't really think it really dawned on me, the impact, just like all this, you know, all these emotions hitting you at once that you never experienced.